All right, y'all, welcome back. PR again, you know, look, I, this last one, you know, I was down there. It was fixing to rain. It started raining when I was leaving. I come on to the house. The next, it rained all night. You know, it, uh, we had a good storm all night. We went back the next day, kind of cloudy in the morning, and the sun comes out. I go down the lake again. When I was up, the water was 63, 64 the day before, and now I'm back down. It's in 67, 68 degree water is what I'm in. And first thing I want to do is go back to these pontoons. And then that's what I'm on. I, I go back to some pontoons instead of the floaters at the end of the docks. Uh, I target some pontoon boats. And, and there's a couple in here that's just stacked with fish, some small ones. And there's a couple good ones too. Uh, but they're in there. Again, my little Abu Garcia set up. Uh, the Smith Brothers, I got a little chartreuse on here. But in the video... Let me show you what I was using there. And because I'm in a little bit clear water and I go to this to this pearl, was uh, it's like, I think it's some silver flake in it. Yeah, a little silver flake in there. I don't know if you can really see it or not. Um, I think it's a two and a half inch bait too. Again, this is the Smith Brothers, the, the twin boys. And the boys are making some good stuff. Your good stuff. This video in the next, man. This next video, y'all are just going to just wow. But this is what I'm throwing. And you can see, I have probably 25 or so down there. I'm down to five or six or so. I ain't got many left of them because they just slap eat them up. Just eat them up. Um, the Smith Brothers. Text them, y'all. Text them. You know, there's two little guys. They're so pumped up about fishing. And, and then this kind of just, just keeps them boys keep some boys keep some fishing and and it's good 336-442-4881 442-4881 check them out you know just give them a text give them a call but anyway let's get to show i got a couple pictures a couple pictures here uh the first one is i, I you know <laughs> my, my daughter i love her to death my youngest when she's playing volleyball she's here with a couple of volleyball friends so uh chloe uh, Re and Skylar. Skylar's up front, Re in the middle, and, and Chloe in the back. And then I, these crappy I brought home. You see them on the table right here. Grandmama got her tails, the fillets. Man, it was it was some good eating. You just can't beat fresh crappy. God, they so good. Uh, and lastly, Mr. Philip Perkins. You know, thank you again, Philip. He's got some another slabs holding up here. Man, he just he's just eating the slabs up too. So. Thank you, uh, Philip. Appreciate that a whole lot. Hey, y'all, send your pictures to me now. I'll leave my email, email address below. So check it out. Send them to me. Send them to, send me uh, to my email. Okay. The show. Let's get to it. Pontoon, pontoon boat fishing, man. You, I just taking this jig, skipping it up underneath these uh, pontoon boats. Hope y'all enjoy it. Oh, one more thing. The very first of this. When you see this fish I catch, and I just went out throwing a crankbait and I snagged something. See if you can tell me what it is before I get it to the boat. Let me comment. All right, y'all. First of all, welcome back. Um, I was just put into the boat ramp, kind of went down the bank with a. I was throwing a spinner bait, and I went to this little crankbait, that little bandit crankbait, and I done hooked something. That, I don't. I can't move him. I can't move him. I think it, it's almost like I got something fast hooked in the back. But this this kid's got some definitely some weight. Whatever it is, just don't like me putting a whole lot of pressure on it. I'll just fish this little point with this crankbait. But I really want the crankbait back. <laughs> Fighting this fish, whatever it is, dude. Just 
Easy, dude. This fish is powerful for whatever it is. That's a 10 pound fish sunlight with that little bandit 200 or 300. I ain't even seen what it is yet. Whatever it is, it feels like it got a thousand in the back for the tail. Coming up, whatever it is. Yeah, he started to. There he comes. That's a big, big old cat. Big, massive. No, that's a carp. I got a big old carp. Found it in the tail. No, that's a catfish. Y'all got to see this, dude. You got to see this. Hold on. Get him back up here, look. I got a foul hooked in the tail, would you? Foul hooked in the tail. And he about done wore me out. Alright, let me see if I can wrestle him in here. Let me get this big boy out. All right, here you go. Big old fat, look how fat. Carp fishing. I don't know what that joke weighs. He's a good 10, 12. He might be bigger than that. 15, 12 to 15 pounds. <laughs> Sugar lips. <laughs> That's good stuff. We'll let him go. Wow. I want to be all fishing. Got a small guy. On the old pontoon boat. I love it. the babies. Let's go on to the next. Something bit my tail off. Little guy. Let him go.
of the slab. Yeah. That's a beautiful fish. I just don't need him. And you gotta love catching on the pontoons. Well, it's up. All right, what'd y'all think? You know, hey, I snagged the big old carp in the tail. He gave me a fit for about five or six minutes, so wore me out. I was wore out after catching that big old joker. So it was fun, though. I had a blast. Um, and then, you know, the, the pontoon fishing, man, the getting it underneath them pontoons, the fish are underneath that are chasing bait uh, in the shadows because the sun was shining. <coughs> next, though, man, this next video, I took these Smith Brothers jigs. You're gonna see it. You're going. You gotta see it. You gotta stick around. You're going to want to see this next one. Hey, thank y'all. Send me your pictures, and thank y'all. <laughs> Crash. <laughs>